everybody. I hope you're doing well. It's Guiding Halo here. Uh, it's time to do your May 8th reading. Let's see what's coming on for you guys. Let's see what we're dealing with. I might not get into too much detail today, but we'll see. I'm feeling very low-key, very vibe and chill. Feeling a little sad. I got some disappointing news today about a family pet. So, it is the Scorpio full moon. There's still hope, but we shall see. So my heart is feeling memories and just feeling gratitude for have, having had such a beautiful dude in my life for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. What you got for us, Divine? The card I saw on the bottom was about magic. Yesterday's was about miracles. Who knows? Today's about magic, I guess. Power. Wow, look at that. It's about power. I am indestructible. What does not break you shall build you and... I don't know. <laughs> Alright, power. Let's read it. The grizzly bear. Grizzly bear. Beautiful. The grizzly bear is a tremendous totem for strength and wisdom. A person with this totem is an old soul with many lessons already learned. Awakened intuition and introspection combine with primordial power in grizzly people. In winter, bears hibernate and birth their young while sleeping and dreaming. One of the most dedicated mothers in the wild, grizzlies show fierce protection and tenderness toward her young. Grizzly bears emerge in spring with new wisdom from the dream time, which gives the grizzly person a strong link to spirit. They are often the chosen totem of shamans. Another obvious lesson from grizzly is their need for time alone. Bear mastery reaches full potential only after many lives dedicated to the inner journey. At that time, the soul bursts into the light and becomes a blessing to all who are fortunate enough to know and be loved by these incredible beings. I am indestructible. I honor my intuition and go where it leads. Love and gentleness, gentleness are my real strength. I never give up. I will succeed. Beautiful. I'm gonna pull another one. Oh, look at that, love. Be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. So we have two deers here that are, look at that, they're sniffing up at the chickadee dee -dees. Yeah. Chickadees. All right, let me just move this up a little bit this way. Get some more room for more cards. Isn't that exciting? More cards. All right. I'm going to pull Magical Times Empowerment cards today. What's up with this bear power? You're indestructible. Honor your intuition and go where it leads. It's like following the divine's nudges on a moment's notice. Love and gentleness are my real strength. I never give up. I will succeed. Someone's on a journey. Focus on how far you have come, not how far you have to go. You will find help in unexpected places. So... There's the divine is coming to help you in some sort of way with a nudge, a something. Your intuition is going to, they're going to come to you through your intuition. Something is going to nudge you forward or, or in a certain direction that really is going to help you. Kindness and compassion here. Focus on how far you've come, not how far you have to go. So someone might be feeling tired feeling like it's just never gonna end the stress is the the pummel it's like you're in the waves in the ocean and you're swimming and they just keep pummeling and pummeling and pummeling there's no calmness in the seas no calmness in your mind no calmness in your heart so i have see the gifts in challenge one can be taught within the calm but the greatest lessons are learned from the storms and rebirth no matter what happens, you can find new wings. Rise from the past. Accept the positive change that is coming. So something is about to be rebirthed. Hence, we have all these planets going into retrograde energy. So you could have something coming back 
to reconsider in a different um, from a different level of enlightenment or something of that nature all right let's see I think someone here is on a journey to get in touch with their soul, in touch with their heart. And in order for you to do that, a lot of times there has there's some sort of thing that has to be broken, torn down, uh, nudged in the right direction. And it brings about a rebirth, but that rebirth is not easy, hence the adversity and the challenge. No matter what happens, you can find new wings, rise from the past, accept the positive changes that are coming. So there's positive changes coming. Perhaps you don't see them yet. I'm sure that the phoenix, before it rose from the ashes, thought it was dead forever. It was never going to come to life again. But then it didn't just come to life. It flew. It rebirthed itself and totally flew away. 13, insight, which reduces to a 4, but 13 is such a powerful number. It's the number of the death card, I believe, in the tarot. So they're ab we're absolutely having transformation, an insightful transformation. There's some sort of insight that's coming that's going to transform things for you. Let's read that from the book. This is from the, the Secret Language of Light, Transmissions from Your Soul Oracle. 13. Actually, I'm going to take that out and hold it up for you so you can see it really beautifully. It's a beautiful card. I love the colors in these cards. So, transformation in your psychic senses. You are or are about to see further, higher, and deeper through space and time. Your psychic skills are expanding and seeing through the lens of your soul. Hone your abilities by reading about or doing a workshop on intuitive development. We are all psychic. It is a part of who we are, but we have th thrust this ability into the background in favor of other senses. Problems occur when we keep looking at the manifested world for proof of our worth. You are worthy because you are here. There is nothing to prove. You could become an intuitive reader if this is something you desire. It could also mean you are learning to trust what you feel and the next steps to take will drop into your mind in the following days. To trust what you feel. You see, I always talk about following your emotions as your guidance system forward. So that's very important for someone here. Learning new ways of meditating, opening your third eye, aligning your chakras. So slowing your breathing, feeling into your inner world, perhaps feel into your heart, your belly, or the very center of yourself. Here is a point of light that represents the qualities of your soul. Focus on this point of light and imagine it growing larger and larger in your inner world. Now direct your light to your third eye. Imagine you have curtains over your inner eye that can only open or can open and close at will. See the curtains open and allow the light you are directing to flow into your third eye. Mm. Follow the light as it moves through the gateway of your inner knowing. Beautiful. So having a rebirth in intuitive and psychic gifts, a rebirth in who you were always meant to be coming to the forefront. All right, let's pull some the universe has my back cards journey and power you are indestructible on this journey you have come so far only focus on for how far you have come not how far you have to go it's not the journey ahead that's so exciting perhaps it's to remember the person you have become through everything you have been through i do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness so getting closer to understanding the divine getting closer to understanding your purpose and this owl does look like he's sitting there absolutely meditating the owl's the same colors as the card here as well very much about crown chakra opening that purple energy and we have adversity so there could be some sort of challenge that's coming to you and you're being led through your crown chakra to get closer to consciousness and there's something some challenge or adversity that's coming you know and 
it, it's from lessons that you're learning that you're having this awakening now. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. I recognize that I have chosen fear. I choose again. I choose love. And look at that. It's going to sit right on top of the adversity and love card. So someone may be experiencing adversity and love here. You heal with the power of love to see the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and growth. Be gentle with yourself. So love yourself. Be loving on yourself. Be kind, caring, compassionate. I am the loving energy of the universe. Yeah, you are because you have the divine working within you, rising from the ashes here. When I learn or lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. So what is certainty? And what is faith? Well, there's one thing I believe that every person feels that is certain that is alive here on the planet Earth. And that is that your heart pumps, your body works, it's doing its thing, which makes you therefore here. So are you actually going to be, get still and be here? Or are you going to be everywhere else all at once? Because when you do that... That's when you scatter those energies. It's about pulling the energies in to create a flow here that we're trying to create, apparently. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. So there's definitely something about surrendering an outcome, uh, something, uh, surrendering the outcome of a journey, surrendering the outcome of your journey in love, and remembering that you are rebirthing in some sort of psychic way here. And it's not a matter of what happens or the outcome or the whichever. It's understanding that the birthing process is painful. It's not easy. But you have to remember that you are the loving energy of the universe. So the more you can embrace this energy that you truly are, I believe the less painful this rebirth will be. All right. Postcard from Spirit. Oops. Postcard from Spirit, please. Postcard from Spirit. Yeah, I feel like wave after wave, everything is, I just gain my center and then something else comes along and moves me all sideways. Sideways crooked and bonafide craziness going on. <laughs> all right, one postcard from Spirit, please. Postcard from Spirit, please. Oh, I got two again. Look at that. Uncertainty is the new normal for the whole world. Things are changing at a rapid pace and the old ways we once trusted are no longer reliable. But leaving the familiar behind can be a good thing. When you are pushed to step into the unknown, you are pulled forward into discovering new possibilities that have been hidden in plain sight. Check in with your higher power. Your soul knows better than your small self. Have faith in, in the support of the higher power and the infinite potential for your life. Right now, the advice we have for you is this. Try something new. Do something different. You won't know how it feels, what it looks like, or what the outcome will be if you do not take the first step into the unknown and experience the unfamiliarity. You'll be so glad you did because the treasure will appear. We're so proud of you for being brave. You are so loved and so supported. Beautiful. Dearest you, do you ever wonder whether your ideas and inspirations might be coming through your soul rather than generated from your mind alone? Didn't we not have this card just yesterday or the day before? <laughs> I guess it needs to come out again. We are conduits for spirit, letting you know you are a living channel for this awesome co-creative energy. When you're feeling inspired, it means you heard us. Inspiration means spirit is breathing through you. 
Inspiration needs your human passion to keep it going so you can make a difference in the world. So keep moving on what inspires you. Let yourself be led into new, new experiences and know that this is why you are on the earth. Your purpose is to discover your spirited nature and to bring forth through your efforts whatever is meant to be. Wondrous miracles have a way of showing up when you let inspiration propel you forward. You are so, so loved. Look at that. Inspiration. There's going to be some new insight coming about inspiration in your life. Perhaps how you can bring more love to the Mass Collective. Perhaps how you can just simply bring more love to yourself. More love to your pets. More love to your family. More love to whichever. I love you guys. Remember, you have the power to succeed here. You are not alone. If you only knew who it was that walked beside you every day, you would never have a single doubt again. I love you. I'll talk to you again soon.